friends in our earlier session on projection of solids we have discussed two cases the case one was when x is the solid is inclined to the horizontal plane and case two was when the axis of the solid is inclined to the vertical plane now in this session we shall discuss case three when axis of the solid is inclined to both hp and vp and we take a square prism axis is a line joining the center of the top face and bottom face and you can keep the solid first either in horizontal plane or in vertical plane giving the angle theta or phi now in this example we will place the solid first with its base in the vertical plane and then start giving angle phi and then angle theta to the axis say for example is this square prism you take the square prism place it in the vertical plane here so what you see you see a square in the front and a square at the back side now this is square will not be visible to the observer okay let me just draw this thing so let us say a b c d e f g h that is the bottom face and that is the top face and that is the center that is the axis center of the top face and bottom face a line joining the center of two faces of the Prism. Say O O. When you place this solid in the vertical plane, what do you see? You see two squares. Okay, one overlapping plane. A B C D dash. E F G N H. Let us say A B C D is visible, and behind this face is your E F G H. Again, a firm line overlaps a dotted line. Now, this is a dotted line. This vertical edge this is a firm line, and because they are one after another, so the final it will be A B. A B will be firm line. Same is the case in each edge. Each edge here is visible and not visible. So it will be shown by the firm line. What you see in the plan, you see a rectangle. Okay. So in the plan, you see a rectangle. Now makes angle 
file with the ground. And then the project is filed in the elevation. So you project A and B. A is here, B is here. E and F, E and F. Similarly, G, G and H. Now draw horizontal lines from the elevation and perpendicular line from the plank. You get. C here, there is C and B, so to get B here and C. Okay, let us say this is B dash, B1 dash, and B1 dash, F1 dash, C1 dash, G1 dash, and this is A. So now when you tilt this, when you tilt this axis from this position to this position and when you look from the front for elevation, some of the faces are now missing. This axis is now missing. But this has been not been missing. Okay? So let us see which one is visible. Now you have these points, eight points now. For the base and for the top base. And for elevation, when you look from the front, that is the C is the corner which is nearest to the observer. Okay, now you are looking from the front side, from this side. From the front side. Okay, after putting it like this, in the elevation, you look from the front side. So that is the corner which is nearest to the observer. So all lines meeting at C must be visible lines. Okay? So, C is here. And what are the lines here? C, G, C, G, C, D, and C, D. C, and C. Boundary of the projection is A, B, C, D. Boundary of the projection is complete. Okay. A, B, F, C, G, H, B, E, and F. Complete. Right? There is no slant edge here. But when you look from the front side, E, F is not visible. That is the behind the observer. And therefore, E dash F dash will be a top line. That is the elevation, and that is the plan of the solid inclined to vertical, axis inclined to vertical. When you are putting this in this position first, you can measure this through length of the axis or height of the solid in the horizontal plane. When you rotate this like this or like this, true length makes angle. Okay. So this is a total of the height of the solid and when you are making this, you are basically making a height difference between, sorry, plan difference between two ends of the axis equal to x sin phi. And I told you in the question of lines, if a line is to incline to both the plates, then this condition to be satisfied. Uh, this should be L sine theta and this should be L sine phi. And these are measured perpendicular to ground line. These are measured perpendicular to ground line. Plan difference and elevation difference. Now here by rotating this axis about vertical plane, we have now maintained this L sine phi. Now the next point is to make this elevation difference between OO, 
equal to x sine theta. Now there is O O here. Now O O is this is the O O. There's a point O and then the point O. That is the axis. Then we make an angle, 
and now this has been finally after making inclined in the general plane also. Now you are looking from the top for the plan. Looking from the top, and when you look from the top, this point H will not be visible to the observer. That the lowest point, this point, when you are looking from the top, this is the corner which is nearest the observer, and this is not visible. And therefore, all lines meeting at this point must be the invisible line, hidden lines, dotted lines. So, what are the lines here? G1, H1. E1, H1 and H1, B1. See here at H, what are the lines? H, G, H, E and H, D. Okay? H, G, H, E and H, D. So these are dotted lines. Now let us see if there is any line which crosses these lines that must be the formula now when you are looking from the front or from, from the top B is the nearest corner nearest corner to the observer that is the point B corner B so it must be visible and if the corner visible all lines meeting at this corner must be visible so for B A1 B1 B1 C1 and F1, D1 are visible. And you see here, automatically these two lines are crossing, but one of, the, one of them is dotted and one of the front line. Same is here. This is the front line, this is the dotted line, this is the front line. So that is the final. And where is the axis? Axis is here. For this line, you get. Corresponding point here and a point here. So X is in here. But now it will not have the true length. It will not have a true length because it is inclined to both the planes now. But it satisfies the condition of X sine theta and X sine phi. And that is the final plan of the solid of the prism, and that is the element. So that is how we draw projection of a solid when x is inclined to hp and dp both. You can do it in other way also. Rather than putting this solid in the vertical plane first, you can put in the horizontal plane also. And then satisfy the condition of theta and then satisfy the condition of phi. So friends, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you understood it.